You think the Middle East and the world would be a better place if Israel didn't exist? Yes. Okay. Israel has committed, you know, so many terrorist attacks. They, they're stealing land right now. They're operating in apartheid. Um, they're currently committing a genocide on Palestinians. Like, mm -hmm. do you believe in the genocide they're committing? I, I, I think they're fighting for themselves and they're defending themselves. Do you, you think that's defense? Well, when, me, when, when, when 1,200 people die, yeah. of which the 1,200 you've killed and admitted that right. you've killed a lot during, you know, your well, handle. I will tell you this. I will tell you this. Uh, the part I question where people who are Jewish can't stand when I say this, I don't know how you and Netanyahu claim you have the best intelligence in the world, Mossad, and you didn't know that on October 7th they were attacking you. about it. They, didn't, they, they wanted it to happen, so they had a reason to take that. Yeah, they wanted a reason to take the land. I totally get it. And this. they killed their own citizens. But and, I, and they claimed that all these people got raped. That was bullshit. They claimed beheaded babies. That was bullshit. Everything that they said was a fucking complete. Not only was it a lie, but they committed all those atrocities themselves to the Palestinians have been caught doing it. In fact, they just got caught gang raping Palestinians. You know, how many babies have they killed? All the things right. that they accuse right. the Palestinians of or Hamas of or whatever, they're guilty of a hundredfold themselves. So, so you, and they've been doing that. Like October 7th wasn't the start of this. Like the start of this was knock, but they've done so many. I don't different disagree. Yeah. I don't disagree. Yeah. So, I mean, this or... is not like, it's not like October 7th is like, it's all of a sudden they just came over right. there unsolicited right. and just killed people. Like they have been killing Palestinians for years and years operating two sets of justice. You know, it's like they have the justice for the Palestinians, and the justice for the Israelis. And if you read the Talmud, yeah. like, you know, if you're not Jewish, you're basically not a human. You're like, you know, like cattle. If, if, if a, if a Jew is, you know, is, is killed by, you know, somebody that's not Jewish, then it's the death penalty. If a Jew kills somebody that's not a Jew, then, you know, you can't kill them. It's not the death penalty. Like they, they literally like segregate in their Bibles. They're they, very protective of themselves. I don't think, I don't yeah. think anybody can debate that. I don't think it's a, well, it's, it's not the, pro the problem isn't that they're protective of themselves. The problem comes when you think that you're better than other people and you think it's okay to lie to anybody that's not a Jew. You think it's okay to steal from people that are not a Jew. You, you have two sets of standards. The problem with that is mm -hmm. it allows you to rationalize anything, right? And human beings, are generally self-serving creatures. So if your fundamental religious belief system allows yeah. you to operate in such a way that you believe there isn't consequences to stealing from other people, killing other people, you know, raping, you know, kids that are under nine years old, like if you think those things are okay, then, you know, how are you going to operate? Because to me, like my moral code keeps me on track.